killer. Really quick in the beginning of this video, I want to go ahead and apologize for uploading this video really, really late. But to make up for it, I'm going to try to double upload today. And by the time you're watching this, it'll probably be somewhere around like early to mid afternoon, prob probably for, Dra for the Dragon Ball Super episode review. And then towards later in the night, if I decide to not be fucking lazy, uh, I'll watch the next episode episode for Boruto. So look out for two videos, hopefully today. Um, no promises, but hopefully if I'm not lazy, I'll double upload today. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here back again with another video. And today we are going to be reviewing episode 96 for Dragon Ball Super. And the title for this episode is The Time Is Here to the World of Void for the Fate of the Universe. And this episode wasn't... You can't really compare this episode to the last episode with Frieza uh, killing all of those assassins that were sent by Universe 9. This was more so kind of a setup episode, mainly for the fact that it's like... All the universes are finally going to be able to go to the World of Void to fight on the tournament stage so that way we can actually see who will win the Tournament of Power to make sure that their whole universe doesn't get erased. The beginning of the episode actually uh, begins off with all of these gods and instructions, uh, Supreme Kais, and even uh, some angels from different universes. From what I can tell, these universes aren't participating in, in the Tournament of Power, but nevertheless they are checking out the tournament stage and we actually do get to see a really cool fighting uh, scene with three gods of destructions and they basically were just testing out to see how well this stage was built up to be by the, gra uh, the great priest or the grand priest and overall this is a really good scene because overall we don't ever get to see you know any gods of destructions one-on-one -on -one or even uh, on a uh, free-for-all like three on three or not three on three but three like Battle Royale, I guess you can say. We know we don't ever really get to see it. So the fact that we got to see three gods of destruction fight each other, it was it was really good. It was really really cool. I really enjoyed it. The start of the episode, it was it was it was done pretty well. I gotta say, I really liked it. I really en enjoyed it, considering the fact that we never get to see you know gods of destruction fight. So it was really interesting. And the the fighting stage is actually made from Kachi Kachin. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but the Grand Priest says that it was made from that certain material, and it's stronger than uh, the, uh, than a different material that uh, the Kachin, just by itself, that was mined in Universe 7, and if you don't remember what that is, remember back then in Z, in the Buu Saga, when Gohan was training with the Z Sword and he tried to slice through that giant uh, cube? Uh, that the Supreme Kai had conjured up and then threw at Gohan to see how strong was the sword. That's basically what it is. And in Universe 7, that was the hardest material basically ever. And the, the Great Priest basically used a material that was even, you know, stronger than that. And that was the reason why these gods of destruction actually fought each other. It's because they weren't sure that 80 warriors were going to be... Uh, they weren't sure that the fighting stage was going to be able to hold to hold up against 80 warriors in a battle royale so just to see how strong it was and how good it was just just for fighting capabilities and stuff like that they went ahead and they fought each other it was a really good scene and they did it to basically kind of show uh, show off to Zeno but Zeno was having a nap I guess so it was like kind of whatever but the, but the Great Priest actually does thank the three gods of destruction for actually pointing out certain weak points for uh, for the stage he does thank him for it so and he has to actually leave and go out and do something else and by that he means he's gonna uh, he's gonna basically open up the gates for the different universes so they can actually go on the stage and then meanwhile he's doing that the three gods of destructions that were fighting they're going ahead and repairing the stage basically and then we go back to universe 7 and we actually have a scene where Frieza finally meets everybody who is participating in the tournament of power and overall, it was a really interesting scene because some of these people Frieza has never met before, probably. And some of them, obviously, he says they're familiar faces. Mainly the familiar face that he was talking about was Vegeta. And Vegeta actually points out 
that the Halo, the Angel's Halo doesn't uh, doesn't really suit Frieza that well. And he's like, and then Frieza responds back saying, maybe I should give you one. So they kind of like talk smack to each other. They're kind of just saying, they're just talking shit to each other basically. I thought that was very funny and overall uh, that was kind of like the whole scene and then they actually decide to group up in a circle so that way they can go ahead and go to the world of void so they can enter the tournament of power but because it's vegeta he didn't really want to do it because they had to fucking hold hands i guess to be able to get there and vegeta was like no i don't want to do that of all people frieza i'm not doing it but it was whatever they went over there anyways and and then we go Finally to the World of Void and determine a power stage. They get there and immediately they see that the gods of destructions are, are already uh, repairing the stage because they had already pretty much uh, fucked it up as is anyways. And then the other universes, the other universe teams uh, finally show up and overall I'm going to say this really quick, all the universes uh, or all the fighters from all these universes that are participating in the Tournament of Power, they all look really, really cool. I can't go off uh, and talk about like all the characters' designs and stuff like that. You have to really watch the episode for yourself. But they all look really, really cool, and I'm very interest interested to see what all of them have stored for the actual fighting. Because like I said, this episode wasn't really in terms of uh, fighting capabilities for all the fighters. It was more so just a setup for the inevitable. That's basically what it is. And then Whis actually goes off and says that there are certain rules that uh, are applied while there. And one of them is is that you can't fly, period. Uh, unless there is an exception and is if you have wings just naturally, then of course you can use the wings and you can fly just like just like any other bird, like he was saying from Universe 7. And also uh, the gravity is is the same is the same for everybody depending on what planet you're from so as you know the saiyans were born on planet vegeta or at least goku and vegeta were born on planet vegeta and the universe or not the universe the planet that they were on was 10 times the normal gravity 10 times normal gravity i want to say that that's right i can't remember it's it's been a minute or two since i actually uh watched anything from z regarding that but uh but the gravity is the same thing for everybody uh, it's, it's the same thing for everybody uh, in terms of how nor uh, how normal the gravity was under under birth planet and that's basically it so we actually finally get to see the interaction of universe 6's frost and universe 7's frieza and honestly it was very interesting to see the, the two uh, interact with each other because of course they're both very similar and they're both the, basically the same race and we actually do have a scene with uh, with the two of them and, and it was I thought it was very interesting because they both are interacting with each other. They realize that they're both very, very similar to each other, and then they decide to team up whenever the time comes. And then I thought it was very interesting. And Goku actually finally gets to meet the uh, the universe six Saiyans. That's not Kaba or Kabe. And basically, Goku finally gets to meet Cauliflower and Kale. Now, of course, Goku goes ahead and reaches out his hand. Uh, towards Kalifla, but she basically rejects it and all this fucking nonsense. And then of course Kale is very, very shy and very, very timid. I thought it was a good scene, you know. It's it's you know Universe Seven Saiyans and Universe Six female Saiyans meeting each other for the first time. I thought it was very interesting. Uh, I kind of liked it. And then of course we finally get to see the inevitable Universe team that we've. That we've been being hyped, that we've been getting hyped for this entire time, the Pride Troopers from Universe 11, and immediately uh, Goku goes and tries to talk to Topo, and Topo is not being, you know, very, you know, like that towards him. He's just being really pissed off at him and stuff like that. And but immediately when they do show up there, Goku and Vegeta do sense their energy as they're as they're showing up, and they're. They seem pretty intimidated by their energy, so Universe uh, Universe 11s, I'm sorry, uh, tri uh, pri uh, Pride Troopers are very, very strong, and he goes and tries to interact with Jiren, but Jiren just really quickly shows up right behind Goku, and he's like, go away. He just tells him to go away, and then the Gods of Destruction who were, uh, Gods of Destructions who were repairing the stage, uh, decide to speed up the process, so that way the fights can actually begin, 
and they uh, cloak around the blocks with the purple aura that the gods of destructions have and then it actually heads towards Goku and Jiren and Jiren just sits there while Goku dodges it which is basically just supposed to show us that Jiren is very powerful and he's not really scared of anything you know he basically just stood there and just didn't even care and then they go ahead and have an introduction for all the universes that are participating universe 2 universe 4 universe 6 and 7 universe 10 11 stuff like that it's eight universes uh it's eight universes with 80 warriors and they ha goku actually points out that i think it's i think it's universe 2 they actually do have a yard rat on their team and as you know the yard rats are infamously known to use instant transmission or instantaneous movement. So the fact that they have a yard jet on their team is very interesting because the last time that we get that we did get to see uh, the yard rats was back in Z before the Android arc, which was well, like I said, very interesting. And so we get a recap of all the warriors from all the different universes, and then that's pretty much the end of the episode. The next episode, which is episode 97, will commence the official fighting for the Tournament of Power. And I, personally, myself, are, is really, I'm, my, me personally, myself, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I want to see the fights. I want to see Goku versus Jiren, mainly because of the fact that Jiren seems very, very powerful and very, very threatening. I just want to see him fight. I just want to see all of these warriors fight to be honest because they all look really cool like I said you gotta really see the episode to really look at these warriors uh, most most of them are new obviously which makes it even more interesting and like I said that's basically the end of the episode I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here uh, overall this episode was very solid you can't really compare uh, you really can't compare it to last last week's episode because last week's episode was you know showing off like the fighting capabilities of Frieza so you can't really compare it to last week's episode but overall as like a setup episode and just introducing new characters and reintroducing old characters that were being shown off through the past couple weeks or so you know it was very interesting it was brought it was it was put together very very well and it was it was really cool I, I really liked it uh, I wouldn't miss out on the episode because, well, because of obvious reasons. So overall, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like. And if you're brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing for future content just like this. And I also plan in the next coming days probably will end up reviewing on all the DLC for Xenoverse 2 because uh, DLC Pack 4 came out yesterday and... I kind of just want to talk about the the basics of just overall all the DLC and all my all overall my whole opinions about all the DLC for Xenoverse 2. Uh, let me know in the comments if you do want to see that if you do want to see that video. But anyways, like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. If you're brand new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you want to see more fucking terrible commentary, like like I do, like I say in every single goddamn video that I make. But anyways, yep. I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you later. Peace.